We were just inspired by the blue man's view of the world and it is more than just a view of human culture and pop culture but really everything that happens on Earth. Insects are particularly interesting because they're so different from us, yet you definitely can see similarities in their behavior. And we think that would have been interesting to the blue man. So uh, we thought, well, how would the blue man approach this interest in, in bugs? We've always had this fascination with bugs somehow. I suppose if you retroactively deconstructed it, there, there's some fascination with the almost mechanical sort of look and structure of a lot of bugs, you know. They're either a mirror of our modern mechanized world or our modern mechanized world is a, you know, a reflection of them. We always have a lot of fun doing Foley, doing sound design. Uh, so that's kind of where this piece started was, you know, let's find some interesting footage of bugs, but what if we sound design it in a weird way? That was my first inspiration, particularly because one of them looked like he would like clap two of his hands together, you know? And I saw that right away and I thought, man, that just seems like a musical thing. What kind of weird sound could I put to it? So just started messing around with some synths and put a sound to him. And then all of the other clips kind of started to fall in line with the same approach. It's like the blue men have discovered insects uh, and, and how do insects move? They move in such a weird way. And what would they maybe sound like? What kind of music would they make? There's insects everywhere. There's a whole ecosystem that we don't really necessarily pay attention to, but the blue men does. It just seemed cool to try to create, you know, structures that could move around and sort of emulate bugs somehow and play drums at the same time. We knew we wanted to make it really different and big and Vegas-y, very different from the New York show. It can't just be like three robots. It has to be three things that emphasize a certain part of the character and then you're gonna make a piece out of it, so they have to play off of each other, and we really wanted to collaborate with Michael Curry, the guy who designed the puppets for Lion King, among many, many other things. Worked with Cirque a bunch of times, and he's a total genius. And he had an idea for um, a spider that would use gas pistons and a bunch of relays, and it was almost like a weird hula skirt spider dress or something that he drew the first time. It was kind of funny. I remember I was sitting close to here actually uh, the first time that I watched the show and saw the piece and it was a little overwhelming because it's a lot of new instruments in this piece in particular, uh, which is really nice because the blue men don't speak necessarily and we like to say that we speak through the instruments that we play, the drumming. And uh, in this piece, we have the phoenix, we have the spider walker, we have the logs, a new thing for Blumen to play on like a wooded instrument. These particular log drums, we built on site, uh, built by one of our techs named Dan Rumer. Very cool and very unique to our show. Um, there's actually a set on stage left and stage right. And we're pretty proud of these. And uh, these things have been in the show since right after we opened here. And it's one of the other many custom things we built here on site in Vegas. No, the log drums. And then we have the chimes, and the chimes really stick out, and it's a really good way kind of for the Blue Men to sing and to kind of speak. Um, so it was, it was really, really nice to see and refreshing to see a whole new piece. But at the same time, I was like, I need to learn this. <laughs> and I'm gonna be going up there and playing this piece. And I was really excited to, to be able to go up there and play these new toys. We call it the Phoenix because of the way that it opens up and closes. Um, so it's like being a, a superhero with multiple <laughs> arms and it has drums and logs on it. Uh, you know those, those baby carts that you put babies in? It's like that for adults or for a blue minute. And I thought it would be fun if the, there was a creature that had drums on its arms, but that they would almost move on their own and the blue men would have to kind of chase the drums or he would only be able to play them when they were within arm's reach. I was unsure how this was gonna play out and whether we could make a story out of it, but it seemed like a good start. And sometimes all you need is like a little nugget like that and then you can run with it. 
The logs uh, and some other drum ideas came to us uh, from some vacation traveling that I did with uh, another former Blue Man musician employee. Uh, we went to Hawaii, uh, to Kauai specifically, and there is an instrument builder that we met there. The logs were one thing that he built that we were really inspired by. We really wanted to use them on this song and then and put them on the arms of the Phoenix. Some things don't really fit, but some things really do, and, and these logs are one of them. We would have six arms, we decided, and those would be connected in the back. Michael came up with this really nice mechanism where it's three joints, and you move just a little piston here, so a very small motion here makes a very big motion on all the rest of it, and it kind of curls open making three of those all at different angles and different sizes and stuff and it really looks impressive and in fact it's dangerous as hell because fully open it's something like 15 feet wide or something and it's made of steel and it weighs hundreds and hundreds of pounds and we've never had so many safety concerns with marshmallows or whatever but this one was going to be rough you could program those things to move however you want them uh, and we, but we decided to go for moves that kind of looked good more than made good playing opportunities. So once we got the programming for the look, then we wrote a drum part that could work within those moves, uh, which is kind of an interesting way to write music. The difference in the drum itself, not much different. You could build a drum kit out of that. But uh, the fact that it's on a rolling, moving bug creature thing is the big difference. Blue Man is always looking at different items in our world and I think thinking, can we make music out of this? How can we put this thing together? Um, and I think Creature Features is a great example of that. They looked at the insect world and they're like, what would insects sound like if they played music? I guess thematically it just ties our show into Blue Man is more part of nature than he is all of our modern technology. So I think, I think there's, just a, there's also just a primal, tactile feel to you know, the natural, natural structures. And to emulate those with modern materials is just interesting and fun. If you've seen it somewhere else, you probably won't see it on a Blue Man stage. You also just don't know what's gonna happen in a given night, and that's, to me, the favorite part. Is I don't know what the audience is gonna be like, they don't know what we're gonna be like, um, and it's figuring out how we're gonna get from point A to B uh, every single night. It's gonna be totally different. This is a fun and strange ride, this world, this universe, this, this path we're on. And um, the Blue Man character is a wonderful vehicle to sort of go through that with as a little guide and compadre to go on this journey with. It is bringing you in, inviting you in, challenging you a little bit and leading you on to this thing. So I would say that given the whole scope of, of what we're exploring, the journey has just begun for the Blue Man. We don't have all the answers. I wouldn't even phrase it in terms of that we have any answers, but we have questions and we have a lot of questions and we have new questions and we are just you know gearing up and putting our crosshairs on those questions and asking the audience to come with us and check out this whole new way of exploring this life and the way we are and aren't separate from it. Um, go, go. I'm just gonna keep drinking it's straight vodka. <laughs> I light it's gin. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Blue Man Group's Creative Chaos. Stay tuned for next week when we take you behind the scenes into our deepest, darkish blue semi-cobalt secrets.